Good morning to you, brethren. As we all know, today is Tuesday. And every Tuesday morning, I come to your houses, uh, to your workplaces, to share with you the word of God. Very short. And then we, we, we proceed to our respective uh, endeavors or chores. This is your brother Martinson. When you are my Martinson, na senior ye ye na da no e brada no pe bia me ba mo nchen na me ne mo be che erade asem me ba mo fie fie mu me be boko koko na me ne mo che erade asem e na no pe yi asem erade dia ma me se me fa mero ano pay no ni tini ye enti me kania me kania no emrahe eni me kania no bitimi aso atwen akwa kudu me kania no emrahe eni bitimi atwen akwa kudu we are in a now we 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 comment in so bad. How far can my light go? How far can my light go? And we will see this uh, in Matthew chapter twenty-five, reading from the verse. 1 to 10. It talks about uh, the foolish virgins and the wise virgins or the foolish women or the wise women or the foolish believers and the wise believers. Me kasa enanopei Afa, a ma and young Safo in noon, and a ma monim a Jimmy for in noon. I yes, Christo can once a more Matthew Humano and Chichema, a tia, a year a dununum, and Chichema, a year back, Cosidu, a brain in Yen kain. Na osu yen yin na yen nim. Na botaya me de e jina swami ya kasa. The purpose or the objective of this uh, message is that looking at the world at this particular moment, we can see that uh, 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 we don't know what is going on. Let me give you a picture. In the olden days, God gave uh, 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 the leadership of this world to judges. And then it came to prophets. And the prophets came to talk about the mind of God and the coming of the Messiah because of the sin in the garden of eden teteno na erade ene ye na na ewo ho na esane senia o o o o o ya na ni panso aya boni nti ni ye nti mi ene ni nyina enti no o de atemu fo bae enu achi no en komhye fo bae na komhye fo no be ka erade adwene ene afi Christo a o ba no ho asem na mpa edu be bi no e fe di emu da ho fan ene fe Christo ba e ye mra ye wo mu ye mra ye wo mu e ye o twen emre e san se sa wo sha 
se se yi en konche fwo en eba nan konche fwo no ba omo ba no o nyami a jine konche fwo papa no o nyami a jine no omo ka se en che o ene eh 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 ya kane se impo evangelist in se mpaka fwo ni omo ke nina ane se en che yesu kristo ba it won't be long. Jesus is coming. It won't be long. Jesus is coming. And when we look at the 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 virgins, the ten virgins, what were they doing? They were waiting for the bride or the bridegroom. They were waiting. And you and I all know that Christ. Is the bridegroom the church is waiting so that he will come and take us all away how far can your light go and it talks about where the five wisest women or believers at this particular moment they light and they put extra oil so that their light will be or will be glowing we keep on shining till the till the time the lord will come because we all don't know when jesus will come but he has given us instances Jesus Christ no ba na me dey call Leviticus chapter 24 verse 2 na me dey wa call Exodus chapter 27 verse 20 Leviticus chapter 24 verse 2 and then Exodus chapter 27 verse 20 Everybody catch you Moses say the Lord told Moses Moses command the people and all those who are keeping watch in my house? Catch the one say, "Emma, omo ma kaniya ne wo ma sorufi e tabena kero ni mono temple ni mono omo ma kaniya ni numuda." And when Moses here in Shesha, Moses made arrangement, the correct arrangement, and they kept the light burning. All the time, that particular light shouldn't go off. It tells us that the light which is in us, because we are the temple of Jesus, the light should never go off until he comes. Nobody knows when Jesus is coming. But he has ordered us that the light which is in us, which is the temple, should never go off. And this particular time, Daniel Otabel, may God bless you. In this particular generation, how can we keep our light? How can we keep our light? This present generation, we look for the pleasures of this world. And when it comes that way, our light will dim. We don't know when Jesus is coming, but sooner or later, Jesus is coming. Looking at what is going on in the world, everybody is confused. As Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, Children of disobedience will be will, will, will abound. People will be looking for money instead of the love of God. Instead of the passion for the Lord. How far can your light wait till the man comes? Are you going to be a foolish believer? Or a wise believer. Are you going to be a goat? The Nigerian will say, Ew. Are you going to be a goat? Or you are going to be a sheep? Because when he comes, he's going to separate us. And one thing is that some people are saying, 
Oh, you have been saying it. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. When is he coming? Since the time of Peter and Paul, they have been hammering. Jesus is coming. Yes. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 9 verse 27 that some of us will not see death. Okay. If you are not going to see death until he comes, what about rapture? Anything can happen. Looking at the situation now, say ya tiwe, ubeti yesi we yewu, ubi a wun nan mini se wewu, ka ne rade atidin kwaso, uhu e niama e kono e chire yen se en nane kwe ye yo en nane kwe ye ye What are we doing? Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, how far? Can we wait? In Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, he says, You are the light of this world. Mama Ben is a queer baby. May God bless you for watching and listening and obeying. May God bless you all, my, 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 my brothers and sisters, Jonas Afeli Martinson. How far can our light go? <clears throat> When you read Matthew, uh, Revelation chapter 2 verse 5, sorry, Revelation chapter 2 verse 5, it talks about the candlelight. A kasafa kani edria no, na sa kani edria na, o kan wan se mse, se wan shed wan se se usubay no wan se sa, o kan ni edria na, oil kuren ni mo Kaniye duyana wadi ya wuhu, e ya wuse wuye believe enti no wedjina no. Kaniye duyana se, obe jie fi wunsep. Na saa kaniye duyana, e nune wun kwa. Abranti ye bi tina se niye frena na bal. Ne yire, e na ne ye abigel. O nye sika, o nye mfu, o nye mwa. He got everything. Instead of using it to help the kingdom of God. He sat down and one day said, I have used my strength. Eh, hey, there is no God. I'm going to eat to my satisfaction. My soul, eat and enjoy. And that night, the Lord said, I am taking your candlelight. I am taking your light. And he died. We all remembered, or we remember Herod. He killed and he began to persecute Christians. And one day he he had he had you know a, a, a party for his concubines and all those nasty things. And the, when he started to speak, the people were saying that you are a god, you are a god. And at that particular moment, maggots filled his body. He began to rot. What am I trying to say? If you are not able to endure the hardship of this world, if you are not focused, your light will dim. How far can your light go? We are all waiting for Jesus. But how far can our light go? Your light sometimes will go dim. But you have to get extra oil. And what is this extra oil? You can find this extra oil in Galatians chapter 5 from verse 20, 22. And, and that oil is love. Peace, kindness, holiness. The God we are serving, he is a spirit and all those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
To be honest with you, Jesus is coming. And if you don't know this Jesus we are talking about, he is the Son of God who came to pay our ransom and be an advocate on the right hand side of God. And he says that all power has been given to me. The only thing you have to do is that believe in me and you will not perish. Yea, believers, and also we believers. The Bible is telling us to wait on him, not to seek for material things, not to seek for uh, uh, pleasures of this world. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. We have to renew our mind. We have to be focused. And the last thing that I'm giving is that Matthew chapter 3, verse 10. He said, the axe is laid under the tree. If that tree doesn't bear fruit, any fruit to be anso keke, any duyaba biya keke, or say, duyana ba ne be miyo huni pano, so muye nyamema, anan so muye nyamema. Enche o, Yesu Christo pepa, ababe na woso, se wansu abana, or say, or diye kumana to duyana se, he has laid the axe under the tree, and he is going to cut it, and then put it into fire. We are having the privileges that Paul, Silas, Peter, and the rest of the disciples didn't get. They were waiting for this particular moment. If we have it, and Jesus Christ to be bow, but the rapture can come. So please and please and please check your light. Don't let your light dim, backbiting, hatred, jealousy. Laziness, but rather let go for the the oil that will not let our light go dim. But all the time, as I said in Leviticus chapter twenty four verse two, Exodus chapter twenty seven verse twenty. Now, everybody in here, say, Sakaniano. Ah, a what tabernacle? We are the tabernacle. So that light shouldn't go off. And how can we keep this light? It is in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Love, kindness, being generous, praying for one another, helping one another. Ah, me mami Tracy, do buahene. Mama, God bless you. Every morning you are with me. May God bless you. Now what you need to be saying, what say? Me can ni ano? Enti ebet miya jina kosi say Jesus Christ to beba. Abra baba na ubu. Baby, I will hear you, man. Enti don ubet miya kachira me say. Nipe we ni na ubu say we ya kania. Nipa. Ah, me ma me say morning pills. Oh. Mama Tracy, may God bless you, Mama. I love you. And you will be with me when we are Nia Ojina Hono, on she you no one she has believers. Ya bra bonnet is saying, can you know into a year, Juma? Send your Juni Yenya Hofa. Into whom near be or help be mu now will be until to me buana na. Can you help help your brother? Can you help your sister? Be careful so that we don't fall. He said, You are the light of the world. This is the word of Jesus. Can our light, we, we, we are in the waiting because we don't know. Anytime Jesus can come, are we ready? Are we going to be foolish believers, gods? Or are we going to be the wisest among all? How is your light burning? 
Yan so kania en fan shem tasi enti manin pien ni peny nehu se erradi adum en ni glory no it is on you. And Jesus said in John chapter eight, verse twelve, that I am the light of the world. The one whom we are waiting for, he is the same light. And he is coming to light your weak. And you too give that light to the other person who doesn't know. Let your light shine. Let your life portray the character of Jesus so that when he comes, we all will go. Because in Matthew chapter 25 verse 10, he says that those who were wise, when the king came, the bride good came, they went in and the door was shut. Is the door going to be shut? Or is the door going to shut you outside or inside with the bridegroom? This is my message. This is my story. Throughout the week, how far can your light, can my light go? May God bless you. I'm a brave go. Mm. The sweetest of all. May God bless you. You have a good heart. May God bless you. I thank God for your life throughout the week as we are pondering over this so that our light will not go dim. May he bless you. May his countenance be with you. Wherever you will step, that place is given to you already. Just speak and let your life portray Christ so that you will be a light. And the Bible says that he who will endure to the end. Mm, Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. I will give that person, that soul, power over all nations. What again do you need? Don't be afraid about coronavirus. It will never, it can never come to your doorstep. Just believe and just stand. Just believe. May God bless you. Amen.